Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Hey guys, Amber here with a Maple Family, and today I'm going to be doing a solo playthrough of Enchanted Plumes. Now, this is a two to five player game, but it can be played solo, and I'm going to show you that today. So, there was actually a solo variant put on Board Game Geek. And it's really, really simple to do. And this game is so fun and crunchy and puzzly. I thought you guys may enjoy it if you like games in this type of genre. I sure do. So I figured why not record a playthrough? So let's get started by going over the setup. The first thing you're gonna do is set the game up similar to a two player game. And this means we're gonna remove all of the seven, eight and nine cards in the deck. You're also going to want to pull out the peahen card. Uh, this is gonna trigger trigger the end of game and I'll show you where to put that soon but for now just go ahead and set it aside. Now you're gonna have a pretty substantial deck left but don't worry this game actually goes pretty fast and we're gonna be moving through those cards quite swiftly. So go ahead and deal yourself nine cards. The first thing you're gonna do is draft your starting hand of six cards. Okay, once you've selected your six cards to start with, you can return your remainder cards back to the deck and give it a good shuffle. We're then gonna take seven cards from the top of the deck, and we're gonna shuffle our peahen card into the seven cards we just drew. This is what's gonna go on the bottom of the deck, and as soon as that peahen card comes up, Time is out and we are done. The game is over. We're gonna go ahead and lay five cards out. This is called the train and these are the cards we are going to get to choose from if we would like to trade cards from our hand. So the game is gonna play in two phases. So we have a couple options on our turn. The first thing is we can play one or two cards to either start a new plume, which is what we're gonna be building, or we can add to a different plume or an existing plume. The second phase of the gameplay is going to be to replenish our hand. So we have three different options to do this. We can draw exactly two cards from the feather deck. We can swap exactly two cards from the train with a card from our hand, or we could draw one, and swap one. So those are the options for replenishing our hand. Now, for the solo mode, I like to think of it in three kind of phases or three turn increments. So for the first phase, in order to flush out the train, we will first just discard one card from the train. Our next turn, we will discard these two cards from the train, leaving us just the first and second card of our train. And for our third turn, we will discard these two and we will start with a brand new train on our fourth turn. Now you're gonna be able to see this better as we play, but I just wanted to give you a heads up of how that worked in the solo game. The wonderful thing about this is it really does allow for a lot of variety out here in the train and it helps us go through our deck quite quickly. So as we build our plumes, the top row of the plume is actually gonna be negative points. So we're gonna to wanna to put lower numbers on our top row of our plume. So maybe I want to start out my plume with ones, twos, and threes. Now I can make my plume as long or as small as I want. One thing I do have to keep in mind is once I start the next row below it, I can no longer add to that top tier. I can also only play colors into my plume that match the row above it. So the further down we get into our plume building, the more limited we are in what colors we can play. Now, for this example in my hand, all I have is a purple, I wouldn't be able to play that, but let's say I have this green six in my hand just to show you, I would then be able to flip this upside down and play it on one of my turns, and this plume would be complete. Again, when scoring, this top row would be negative points, and these would actually count as their numerical value on the card. So it behooves us to play lower numbers up top and higher value cards towards the bottom of our plume. So completed peacocks, which are those with plumes that go all the way down to a single card like we have displayed here, score one bonus point for each card used to build them. 
incomplete peacocks will not score this bonus point. So there is a benefit to completing these plumes. So this plume would actually be worth six bonus points. So the bigger you're able to build your plumes, the better. So let me go ahead and put this one back into our train. I will pick up my hand here. And to start our turn, I can play up to two cards. So I am actually gonna play this one and two. And I think to get started, I would love to attain this six, but it's gonna be there for a little bit. So I think I'm just gonna draw two cards to replenish my hand. And don't forget, this first round, we're gonna be discarding this first card. So that is gone. Okay, for my next turn, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add this zero. And I don't know that I want to give up my purple two. Now I will say some of these colors can be just a little bit uh, close or very similar, but the graphic inside of the colored area is different and unique. So if you're ever unsure if you have a similar color, you can always look at the interior graphic design to help you distinguish if it's the same suit or not. All right, I think I'm just gonna play the one card this time and I am going to actually trade in I'm going to swap here with the six and I'm also going to draw a card. Now for the second round, we're going to discard these two from the train, leaving us just this first and second option. All right. Uh, geez, I'm not really liking my options here. What do I have? I have white. I think this is going to be a small, plume. Well, I'm not really liking the cards I have. I think I'm going to do something a little risky here and I'm going to put a three up here. And then I'm also going to play my green six, which if we were to calculate this right now, I'd basically have zero because I have three, four, five, six on my top row, which would negate the six points I just earned here. But anything else I do add to this plume will score me. So I've chosen to bring down the green, so I still would like to bring down at least two other varying colors to give me a variety of options here. Okay, so that was my two cards. So again, I'm gonna draw, great, I got some zeros. <laughs> okay, so then we'll discard these and we're gonna refill our train and this will be used for our next round of three. Okay, so I'm definitely going to start a new plume with these two cards. And, oh my gosh, this one and zero look amazing. If I do that, I am gonna get really low, really, really low. I'd like to play my three. That one's not gonna help me. Okay, so let's do, well, the one's gonna go. This is not doing me any good. So I'm gonna trade that, and then I'm gonna draw. So those will be my options for refilling my hand and this will get discarded okay so i've got boy i'd really love to get a higher purple but for now i'm gonna play this two and i am gonna do this three okay so these are the colors i have to choose for my third row i'm just deciding i think i'm gonna let that zero go and draw two wow Wow, 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 those are high. Okay, so we are gonna discard these. And what do we have here? I am gonna play this one. Then I think I will play my five here. Okay, and then I hate to pass those up, but uh, okay, I'm just gonna draw and see what we get. All right, I got a red three and a one blue. So these will get discarded and we'll do our next row here. A five in our train. Ooh, another zero, some ones. All good things, all good things. Okay, I am going to, I think I'm gonna go ahead, hopefully I'm not cutting this off here. Let me move this, let me move these plumes over. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add this one. And I think, okay, so we have green. I need purple or pink. Where are they? Red's not gonna do me good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop down to my second level there. 
Uh, I am gonna draw, because I only have three cards. Okay, so we'll lose this first one. So I have a purple now, so I'm definitely gonna play my purple. And what else? Then I think for my next turn, I am going to do this blue five. Let's see, I'm gonna have to have green or purple to finish this one. I don't really want the zero. So I'm gonna draw two. Okay, and these will get discarded. And let's see, ooh, this zero might be good to start a new plume. Do I want to do that? Uh, so I have, oh, I could do teal again, although I think white would be better. So I'm gonna play my white four. That'll at least give me some variety in uh, items I can play. And then I think I will play this three. And I am going to, ooh, this five would be good. I'm gonna trade out my red for this white and then draw one. And then these will get discarded and we will put out our new train. And we're just moving right along. Oh, that six looks great. I might need to grab that. Okay, let's see. Um, I've got a great set here to start a new plume. I think I'm gonna have to get that purple four. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do just one card and you do have to play a card on your turn. Um, at least one card, you can play up to two. I am going to switch out, uh, I think I'm gonna switch out this zero for this four. And this plume is completed. I'm gonna scoot this out a little bit uh, just so I have some more room to start a new plume. Now, I only have two cards, so I am definitely going to be drawing and we'll discard that. Okay, so I need to play at least one card. So I'm gonna start a new plume there and we are going to, I'd like to get this six. So I'm gonna get rid of this purple three and then I'll draw one. And then these two will be discarded. And I am going to, finish off this plume as well. And again, I'm just gonna scoot this out of the frame a little bit. So right now, this is my only active plume and I am gonna draw two. And we will discard this and get our new train out. See what we're working with. Okay, yikes, I have a lot higher numbers. Now this five and six are awesome because they will go here with this wonderfully. I don't see yellow. I really don't see a whole lot of anything. Um, well, I'm going to have to play something. I think I will trade out this five. I just don't know for what. I haven't seen a lot of blue. I feel like my chances to get blue may be good. So let me do that and then we'll draw one and we'll discard this three. Okay, maybe I should have gotten the two. <laughs> oh well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the three and I need at least one other color. I don't wanna just use silver. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is trade out this two and four and I will draw one. These will get discarded. Then I am gonna play this two. That will give us some options here. So I played one and I will play one more. I'm gonna play my six. Okay, and I am definitely gonna draw two and I can tell we are, we are running low on cards. That peahen is gonna be coming up pretty soon. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we're good. I'm going to do two more cards to this, honestly, because I'm a little bit scared that, I mean, that was like awesome. Okay. Uh, do I want to get that four? I think I do want to get this four. I just don't think we're going to be able to do, we'll draw one. We'll discard this. Oh, bummer. I, so I didn't bring my blue down and of course I drew a blue six, but 
that is okay. Um, I'm going to do silver and we'll do this pink color. That's my two. And I'm going to have to draw because I just have like no cards. Oh, shoot. Um, so these will go. What can I do? I have purple, I have gold, red, and blue. Well, it's not gonna hurt me to start another plume. And then, you know what? I feel like to be safe, I need to at least grab this and draw one. And then we'll discard these. Uh, so that will allow me to at least finish this plume. Oops, and I forgot. I think we're going to get the peahen right here. I just have a feeling it is going to come up. Oh, oh my gosh, we didn't get it. I thought for sure we were going to get it. Um, wow, we have like two cards left. Okay, well, I'm kind of scared to play anything, but I have to, per the rules, play something. I am going to do... Well, let me see what's out here. I do have that. It's not going to help me at all. These are all super low. The only thing that matches is a zero, which that's not going to help me at all. Uh, okay, I'm just going to have to play the two. And yeah, that is literally all I can do. Then I'm just going to draw because I know one. Okay, and then if I trade... Will that help me at all? Let me trade this six with the zero. I have never had the peahen be the last card. So I am like shocked. I'm gonna try to salvage this. I can play two more cards. Oh, if I do that though, zero, two, I'm just gonna have to play this zero and I'm gonna leave it at that because I, I don't wanna get any worse off. I've kind of got myself into a pickle. Uh, okay, so then this is obviously going to be our PN. I have never had it be the last card. That is so funny. So the game automatically stops here. And let me show you guys how we calculate our score. Okay, so first off, can we just say how beautiful the table presence of this game is? I absolutely love it. So what I like to do when I'm adding these up is I go ahead and add everything in my second column down. And then I go through and add up my negative points. So for this first plume, for example, and then I'll kind of just give you the summary at the end of what my overall score was. I would score, let's see, 25 for row uh, two, three, and four here. So it'd be 25 for these cards here. And then I have to minus six, which is going to give me a total of 19. Now that doesn't include my bonus points because I got all the way down to one card. So that's gonna be a bonus of 10 because there's 10 cards in my display. So this specific plume will be worth 29 points. Now let's talk about this one here, which I started right at the end of the game and wasn't able to complete. This is going to be worth negative two because I was only able to complete the top row. Thankfully, I had two zeros and this two, so negative two is not the worst. Okay, I quickly added up the scores off camera to spare you that, but it's pretty easy and the rule book has great examples of these scoring mechanisms in case you're confused at all. But for this one, it was 29, uh, negative two, 28, and 36. So that is actually a grand total of 91. So according to the designers, uh, like kind of solo scoring, which you can find in the link below, I will link you to this. It says the peahen is super into you, but not quite ready to commit. So we didn't quite win the peahen over, but we sure were close this time. And I think that had a lot to do with the peahen hiding at the very, very bottom of the deck. Like I said, I've never had that happen before, but hey, why not on camera? I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. I really, really enjoy this game. It is so much fun and it's really, really beautiful. Very easy to get on the table and a lot harder than you might think. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and I'd love to have you subscribe. Comment below and let me know if you have tried Enchanted Plumes. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes